Um, I've just got a package that we missed yesterday to collect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Oh. Ah. They are the packages? Yes! Yes! So I went to Wimbledon yesterday with the old man and um, we actually missed the package because of that. We were kind of, you know, in London and we don't live in London. So here it is! Do I open it now or do I wait? See, when I do these reviews... <clears throat> excuse me. When I do these reviews, I, I like to do them in the garage, in the home gym, because obviously it kind of goes with the territory, right? You know, you're, you're opening some gym clothes, I may as well do it at home in my home gym, but that's not going to be an option today. Um, I'm working with the old man today, I am also going to Charlotte's house straight after that. So I'm not going to be at home for the next, like, four days, and I need to get this video up, like, now. Like, yesterday, because I would have got it up yesterday if I wasn't at Wimbledon. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but anyway! On with the day. Drop the video a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Turn the radio off. And let's go. Currently off to get some lunch. It's only one place that we can go, really. Isn't there? No, it's not Nando's. <laughs> you ready, people? I've pulled up in a Tesco car park, um, hidden away in the corner, because I have this package of Alphalete which I need to open, and I have nowhere to open it and film it, and so essentially what I'm going to do it is is do it in a Tesco car park. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do it for the tubes, you know. Oh, we're at Tesco to get food, by the way. Getting a meal deal. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, God. Bloody hell, and I thought I parked in the corner. It's not even a space. Supermarkets need to make it easier for you to find protein bars. Like, have a, have a place that actually makes sense. Like, it was next to, like, a bunch of napkins and stuff like that. Like, I just want a protein bar. Put it with, like, the chocolate bars or, like, other bits of protein stuff. Impossible to find. Anyway. The car park's kind of, like, people keep just wandering past and stuff. I don't really want to be kind of... You know, stripping down to me, me boxes in in a Tesco car park and, and stuff. So I think I'll just do it on the street instead. Hi. 414 calories. Um, 24.9 grams of protein in this. I was expecting like 12. So that's it, as promised, we are here in the middle of the road doing the review, there's a car. This was a stupid idea. So this is actually gonna be my first time using a microphone in one of these Alpha Leap videos, right? You hear that? It's because I'm actually using a microphone. I've done like six, maybe seven of these Alpha Leap videos and I've never actually used a mic um, on the basis that I'm normally in the home gym. And to be honest, I used this mic maybe four or five months ago now and it was crap. There was just like this buzzing, this hiss in the background. Um, and to be honest, I give it a little bit of a, a rest, if you like. Um, I didn't use it for a while and I started using it again and it seems to be working fine. So, I'm gonna be using it for the foreseeable future. Testing, testing. 
Okay. Back at Body Power is actually the last time I used a microphone. I was going to the VQ Fit booth um, and talking to Mo Samuels, you know, the creator of um, Wobs, that guy. He looked at my camera, was kind of like inspecting my camera, playing around with the lens and all this kind of stuff. And then he literally just started walking off with my camera. And I was just there, like, bearing in mind, I quite like this guy, right? I was just like, what? what? What, what the f is he doing? He was actually going across to his bag to pick up his like 250 pound microphone, bearing in mind that this one costs like 40. He went and picked up his 250 pound one, smacked it on the camera and said, oh, you won't be able to hear jack sh otherwise. And you know when you kind of like someone and like you, you're worried about meeting them in person, that kind of cemented for, for me anyway, um, that you know, he's a decent guy. So. Here's the package. I actually ordered three items from the summer launch. That tends to be kind of like the magic number in terms of the things that I can afford to buy. Um, so we've got one performance tee in the red, one hoodie in the red, and some shorts in black. As I said a minute ago, I have done a few of these Alphalete videos now and Every single time I seem to be buying, especially in the last like two or three, I seem to be buying black things and this is like the summer launch and so I was like, no, nah, be adventurous, get some colourful stuff because I really like that black on black hoodie and just black on black kind of athlete stuff in general. Um, and I decided this time to go for the nice clean little uh, performance tee. So everything you guys see me wearing today, had a nice original transition I know, right? Uh, everything you see me wearing today is in a medium. The hoodie's a medium, the shorts are a medium, and uh, so is this. I am five foot six, 170 pounds, and my chest is around about 41 inches. There are thereabouts, I don't know why I'm just, you know. This seems, honestly, a little bit looser than normal, right? Which is a good thing, because I find like, if you're kind of like the average Joe like me, and you know, you, you occasionally have a little bit of love handles. I still do right now. I've lost like 20 pounds since I started dieting maybe three f three months ago, something like that. Normally, the performance tees straight out the packet are like really hugging on me, but then I am also normally a higher body fat percentage than what I am right now. So, here it is, on me. I like it. I think I will pair that up now with the shorts. Now, I really hope I like these because, oh, they're like a speckly, camo-y type thing. That's cool, I didn't know that. I thought these were just like plain black shorts. No fancy transition, bear with me. One sec, hang on. Stay there, hang on. Hold up. How am I looking? These are stretchy as you know. I mean, you know, you'd want to be freely moving in shorts and stuff. Zip pockets like that. They do feel very tight around the waistband, however. But, that's because my love handles are massive. Let's see if we can loosen these off a tad. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Just undid the drawstring and now it feels a lot better. Right, I am most excited for this. I have not had a new Alphaly hoodie. Actually, I bought the stripe one. I bought the one with the stripe down the side. I remember having, back in first year of uni, the first Alphaly hoodie that came out. You know that green one with like the white writing and the actual big logo on it? Oh God, that has had some wearing. I will tell you that now. I got my money's worth with that hoodie. And I'm planning on doing the same with this one. So um, I, got, I went for the red because, like I say, the past kind of few things that I bought from Alphalete launches have been black. Oh, jeez, I just hurt my shoulder. Oh, little shoulder update, actually, guys. Um, if you've been watching the past kind of few videos, um, I managed to kind of injure my shoulder when I was squatting, um, and it was a, a new gym. I'd never actually trained legs in that gym before until this day, um, and the heights on the rack were kind of really funny. And so obviously if I'm at home, I can just, I'm used to that height. This one was a new one, I'm not used to it. And the one that was up above from it was too high and the one that was down, the one that I was using was actually too low. So I kind of had to come up and scoop back with the bar. 
um, and I had 140 kilos on the bar. And if you mess up that re-rack, I all of a sudden was off balance with 140 kilos on my back and I really pulled my shoulder as I kind of went back. You can see a kind of like shimmy, a little bit of a, a jolt in my, my um, re-rack part of the squat. Managed to mess my shoulder up somehow, but it's all good. I'll just train legs. Every day is leg day. It's all good. So here's the hoodie, people. This is a medium as well. Um, apparently with this, if you want it to be a bit baggier, obviously just size up. Um, but I wanted, I preferred a more kind of fitted look. I prefer that with Alpha Elite stuff for the most part anyway. Um, this is actually rubber, and I was expecting this to be stitching, you know, like embroidery. So this is kind of cool. Um, Alpha Elite have kind of like adopted this like geo print type thing. They did it on, on a few of the t-shirts and that's cool, I like that. So, here again is how it fits on me. One more time, my measurements around about five foot six, 170 pounds, and my chest is 41-ish inches. So, that's it, I'm gonna have to take this hoodie off, I'm actually sweating. It's been really, really warm in the UK for the past like, oh Jesus, I proper hurt my shoulder. Um, it's been really warm in the UK for the past like, Two weeks, something like that. It's been really nice, to be honest, because it's often like cold and gloomy and rainy and stuff, but it's nice that it's actually been warm. People, especially in the UK, like to complain about it actually being too warm. I try my best not to be one of those people because, you know, you should always appreciate the sunshine and stuff like that, but yeah, that's that. Okay. Let me know your thoughts on it. Did you get anything? Did you not? Is everything sold out? Is it not? I was going to get a stringer as well, but I kind of, to, in order to spread the costs a little bit, you know, I might pick up a stringer in a few weeks' time because they'll more than likely still be in stock, whereas the hoodies and, you know, these fancy performance tees, um, they will more than likely not be in kind of like a few weeks' time. One thing I actually forgot to mention was the tag. I mean, this is a sick new tag. Like, I mean... I know it sounds a bit stupid saying, oh, this tag that you're gonna rip off the t-shirt is, is sick, but like, it's like a rubbery kind of bendy type thing and says Alpha Elite, you know, like the barcode t-shirt that you have? It's actually like that, but as a tag. And it's just little little things like that, you know, that, that I really, really like. And some of you at home will be thinking, shut up, Liam, but I really like that. So let me know your thoughts on the launch. Did you pick anything up? Did you bother? Did you not? Did you get what you wanted? Did you not? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I am going to go and train legs. Yet to decide whether I'm actually going to wear the new stuff because I get really, really sweaty when I wear them. And so I don't want to, you know, cover them in sweat already. Are you guys funny like that when you get new gym clothes? You don't want to get them all sweaty when that's exactly what they are designed for. But anyway. Drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. We are back to the usual Wednesday, Sunday schedule now. This is an extra video on the Thursday, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. It really helps us out. Thank you so much. Together we will grow, and I will see you in the next one.